Hey everyone, it's Brittany Barlow, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a do-it-yourself magnetic makeup board. If you guys have always wondered how to keep your makeup organized, I recently was on the internet, and my mom actually came across it the first time and, and found this idea, so I thought it was really cool, and I wanted to show you guys how I did my magnetic makeup board. So, what we're going to do is get some spray adhesive. I had some really thin sheet metal cut to fit into a picture frame. And I'm just going to spray it with the adhesive, and I've cut out fabric to fit. And I did double-sided, so if I want it to have um, tan fabric showing one day for the makeup board, I could do that, or I could do the black and white one. So it could be versatile. But just lightly spray over it. Try not to make it too, too thick, but you want it thick enough where it holds it onto there. And then we're going to start at the top and just press it down. Now I've already gone ahead and this was a gold picture frame. It did have a little bit of black in it, but I wanted more black since my room at my house um, is a black room. Or it has black, dark brown and black stuff on it. Anyhow, um, I wanted to add a little bit more black to the picture frame. So I just dipped the brush in a little tiny bit of black and this slightly went across the gold. And to find picture frames, the best place to go is to a Goodwill, Salvation Army, anything like that. You can get really inexpensive frames and just paint it whatever color you want. And what I did was I went to Lowe's and got a sample. And I think these were like two bucks. So, and for the sheet metal and spray adhesive, I think it was like 15. So you're making something um, that's fairly inexpensive. So I thought that was neat. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. I'm gonna use the black and white side right now. All right, and now we have our magnetic board. And what I did with all this makeup is I put magnets on the back. And these magnets come in a case like this. You get them at Walmart. I got them at Walmart for $1.97 per case. I had to have um, three of these 18 packs plus a little bit more. Um, but I was told you can find magnets at the dollar store, but ours didn't have them. So these ones worked. And what I'm going to do is put these in order from like brows to eyeshadow stuff and then face stuff. And with these things, I found these at Walmart as well, I put cotton circles in them and then I cut Q-tips in half and put them in these ones to have. And I got these little hooks to hold just anything so I have my eyelash curlers on them. Okay, and these just have notes and a little brush. I just put a quote on them. So we're going to go ahead and put those on the board. Here's what the finished product looks like hung up on the wall and ready to go. And I finally have it organized how I like it. And it's right above my vanity. Like so. It's better to keep your makeup in the bedroom rather than the bathroom. It grows bacteria um, not as easily. So an ideal way of doing that is to organize it like so with a magnetic board an even faster way, you can just get a calendar magnetic board, cover it up with fabric and do it that way. But I like the whole frame thing, so we did it like this. And if you want more of the background to show, just change it around with different makeup you like to wear and change out. I like to fit as much as I can up there so I can um, just try something new every day with different colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope this helps some with some organizational skills. And see you guys next week.